Chess.com naming, naming their new flagship tournament a world championship is a big deal. Top players who compete for FIDE's world championship title has, ha, ha, or have signed contracts saying they won't compete in a world championship outside of FIDE. Example phrasing from the 2019 Grand Swiss, ironically sponsored by Chess.com. All right, you guys, so we have a news article that we are going to be covering. So this article is about the 2022 chess.com world championship which will begin on may 1st with a one million dollar prize fund so announcing the one million dollar chess.com world championship chess.com is delighted to announce the chess.com world championship cwc our biggest tournament ever with a total prize fund of one million dollars including five hundred thousand for our final live event at the five star one hotel in toronto canada this is an event that you won't want to miss all right the best part of it all any chess.com member can play and become the first ever chess.com world champion so let's watch the video in a world where only one can be the world has champion now anyone can become a chess.com world champion. Chess.com announces the chess.com world championship. With one million dollars in prizes. With the world's best chess players. Why he mouse slips? He mouse slips. <laughs> Against Robert Hess's will, now anyone will become a chess.com world champ. <coughs> hey everyone, that's right. We actually are launching the first ever chess.com world championship. With a million dollars in prizes, anyone can play, anyone can win, and everyone will have a chance to take home their part in this $1 million cash prize event because regular prizes will be available even for non-title players. Oh, wow. So how do you sign up and how do you play? First, you go to chess.com slash verified and complete the application process. Second, you just throw down on the chessboard and play with your fellow chess.com verified members. Dozens of open qualifier events will qualify hundreds of players into the play-in round. After that, 32 victors of the play-in stage will be joined by 32 of the world's best invited for a 64-player epic knockout tournament the final eight players will head to toronto canada for a live final <laughs> where only one will be crowned the first ever chess.com world champion so what are you waiting for get ready get verified and join us in this first ever chess.com world championship nice Very nice. Very nice, you guys. So, all right. So anyway, let's go back to the article where we were right here. Let me change the scene, of course. Um, yeah, so, okay, so we just watched the video, which is about two minutes long. It says, interest in chess has grown tremendously since chess.com launched in 2007. Today, millions of members log in every day to play, read about the latest news, learn about the game, or watch their idols playing. The internet or the interest in online chess competitions has also skyrocketed. Events like the Speed Chess Championship, the Rapid Ch Chess Championship, and Pog Champs attract hundreds of thousands of viewers, a testament to the appeal of chess competitions. The 2021 World Chess Championship alone amassed more than 25 million unique views. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered to watch GM Magnus Carlsen defeat GM Jan Nepomniachtchi and retain his World Championship title. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. As much as, as much as watching your heroes is exciting, nothing compares to the thrill of playing in a chess competition yourself. But what if you could do both at the same time? That's where the chess.com world championship comes in. For the first time in the history of world chess championships, anyone can participate in the CWC. Nothing exemplifies the thrill of organized competition more than a world championship open to everyone who wants to participate, said chess.com's VP of esports, Michael Brancato. Chess has been rapidly gaining fans with hugely successful events like the Speed Chess Championship, Pog Champs, and the World Chess Championship. And we're excited to offer fans an opportun opportunity to throw their hats into the ring and participate in Chess.com's largest event yet. We're excited to offer fans an opportunity to throw their hats into the ring and participate in Chess.com's largest event yet. Michael Brancato, VP of Esports. All right, let's keep going.
From May 1st to uh, July 31st, a total of 81 qualifier tournaments exclusive to non-titled players will happen. With three qualifiers spread across each tournament day, you will find a convenient time to play no matter, no matter your time zone. And with more than 300 spots up for grabs, everyone will have a shot at advancing to the next stage of the tournament. The online phase of the tournament will culminate, culminate in one last epic set of over-the-board matches with the strongest players coming under the same roof to fight for the championship title. The event's live finals will give players a chance to meet face-to-face -face while giving the fans the opportunity to enjoy the familiar image of their favorite players leaning over the board and trying to outwit their opponent. So as I understand it, um, to be clear, it sounds like uh, the final stage will be in person and it will be over the board. It will be over the board as opposed to, for example, players sitting in front of a computer playing like they're doing in Oslo at the moment. Okay. Um, while playing in a high class in a high class worldwide event is reason enough to participate, the million dollar prize fund is nothing to be ignored. The event's sizable purse is comparable to the most elite over the board tournaments, the 2018 World Chess Championship, for instance, had a one million euro prize fund. All right, that's a picture of Magnus. Usually, an event of this magnitude would cost players a significant amount of money to participate in. However, the only cost of entry for the CWC is verification. All verified members will be able to participate. We believe this is the best way to ensure that this event is open to all while also ensuring the most trustworthy playing environment possible. Okay. Um, so I do believe you to be verified. Now, I did not read the fine print for what be being verified means exactly, but I, my understanding is at the very least, your games get auto-submitted for like anti-cheating Measures like all your games just get, get evaluated and analyzed. Um, now, for some of, for the top gems, obviously, it's not a big deal. But I think for lower levels, when people, um, when people join, I think that this is, this is kind of a, a serious thing that does need to be done. Uh, whether, whether it needs to be 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever the price is, I mean, that's a whole separate issue. But I do think the fact that you're going to have players registering who are like 1,000, 1,200, and so forth, the fact that all their games are going to be auto-analyzed um, by the anti-cheat team, I think it's actually very important. So... That's, that's what I would say. All right. Um, it has been... Wait, actually, yeah, yeah. It, it, um, it has been one of our long-term goals to create and deliver a truly global chess event where anyone in the world can participate. And we can't wait for it to start, said Chess.com's chief chess officer, I am Danny Wrench. Okay. Okay. Um, we believe that this is a huge moment for the game and that the Chess.com World Championship will change the chess landscape forever. To anyone who ever dreamed of becoming a world champion, this is your chance. You won't want to miss this one. We believe that this is a huge moment for the game, that chess.com world championship will change the chess landscape forever. I am Danny Wrench, the chief chess officer. Okay. The CWC is your chance to step out of the audience and onto the main stage to be a part of chess history. Become a chess.com verified player now and get ready to play against your heroes starting on May 11th. So this is going to be very, very exciting. Obviously, um, we do have um, we, we do have uh, the, the million dollar uh, chess.com world championship coming up. Now, I didn't look very closely at the scheduling, uh, but I believe that if you're if you're a top GM, it starts in September. The knockout starts in September, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Really, really looking forward to it. I definitely can't um, can't say enough to, about chess.com and what they're trying to put together. So, really, really good stuff. Now, there is more to this, which I will add. So, give me a second. Um, let me load this. Let me find a very specific tweet because there was a tweet about this topic. Um, all right, so here we go. So we have this tweet from Jan Ludwig Hammer, which says, um, the tweet says, chess.com naming, naming their new flagship tournament a world championship is a big deal. Top players who compete for FIDE's world championship title has, ha, ha, or have signed contracts saying they won't compete in a world championship outside of FIDE. Example phrasing from the 2019 Grand Swiss, ironically sponsored by chess.com okay so for for example I'll, I'll, be, I'll be pretty clear uh i'll be pretty clear about what is said now um everybody signed contracts whether it's for the uh, grand chess tour or uh, grand sorry not grand chess tour whether it's for the grand prix whether it's for the grand swiss whichever event it was for now to be very very clear when you do sign the contract it says um it says you it says and i i, I believe this is specifically in quotes it says uh, i'll never play in another tournament that says it will crown a world champion of chess what chess.com do is doing is not um 
is not creating a new world champion of chess they're holding their own world championship separate from fide uh so i don't really think there's any issue is is my understanding i would also add separately there is something else that i want to um that that i, that I want to say um so it's it's not a um it's not like it's not crowning a new world championship the chess.com world championship as a whole um and so i don't think it's an issue secondly as i was about to say before i got sort of a uh, sort of off topic which i think is pretty important to note is that um is that when it comes to a lot of these events chess.com is actually a very big sponsor right now for the events that fide is trying to hold so it's going to be interesting to see what happens but i don't really see uh i don't really see things changing and i fully i fully intend to play in the uh play, play in this event and i think almost every other player with the exception of maybe magnus will also be playing so so we'll see what happens but it's going to be really exciting and i i think this is this is much ado about nothing from um from Jan Ludwig Hammer so really exciting and we'll see what happens um if Fide wants to sue chess.com I mean I'll be quite blunt I think that Fide is going to lose honestly um and people will at the end of the day go with chess.com and I don't think Fide is going to survive without the sponsorship from chess.com from the Scheinberg family and so forth so to me it would just be a very bad look if um if Fide tries to tries to uh you know I don't know sue players or or, or do stuff I I just I don't see it happening but my intention is to is to compete i will be very clear about that that is my intention